10 in the first quarter, about three minutes played. The three, Durant. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Ten points for him. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back. Trying to carry them to the double. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. The three from Thompson. Can't hit. One for two now. Davis. That three's off the mark. Sneak 
sneaky streak of Siakam. It's one of the reasons why he's such a tough matchup. He really is a tough matchup. People put bigger guys uh, on skates out there on the perimeter. Because he can still play back to the basket on the block. There's no easy answer for how you match up with Siakam. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And you know, not enough help from the defense in the compensate. He gets a clean look. That's exactly how you draw it up. Now here's Bledsoe. That's it. Coming off an assist from Young. Bledsoe's got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Outside Davis. Durant. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Young on the attack. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his first foul. Thompson, he's checked in for Bryant. trip up the floor gets more and more important. Yes, indeed. They badly want to stop the bleeding here. Outside the ring. Outside. Three. No good from outside. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. That's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Zion Williamson has checked in for Lowry. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Now here's White. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Goes up on the wing. Can't hit it. He's over two now. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the travel no matter where they shoot it from. And you know, they've got to be careful. This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Durant's got four rebounds now. On the wing, Thompson. And he can't stop the draw. Another miss. Got to move past that one. I mean, they wanted to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now, here's Williamson. And the layup is good after a nice leap pass. Sometimes, with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside Gray. Back to White. Fires the three. That's good from Durant. On the assist by White. Durant's got 13. And that stroke of Durant. Effort. I mean, easily pulling up from the perimeter. Textbook form. Beautiful to watch. Now here's Williamson. Good work there as it goes. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. 
Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Thompson fires from way outside. A long distance three is Barry. Gotta love the smooth shooting stroke of Thompson. Outstanding at shooting as soon as he catches the ball. Come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Last break, here we go. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So
Take your ulcerative colitis treatment in a different direction. Talk to your doctor about Zeltans, a pill, not an injection or infusion for adults. E. Among mounting investor pressure, Wirecard went to the accounting company, KPMG, to perform an audit. He was going to prove that all the allegations against Wirecard were groundless. Six months later, in early 2020, KPMG reports it cannot verify, quote, the lion's share of Wirecard's profits over the last two years. Wirecard CEO Marcus Braun vigorously denied all claims of wrongdoing. And then, in early June, German police raided the Munich headquarters. What Wirecard had claimed the whole time was that they were using third parties to process payments. These third parties would then give Wirecard a commission, netting them $2 billion and the majority of their profit. The reality was, it all appears to be an accounting sham. The $2 billion wasn't in the Philippines. The banks that were supposed to be holding the wire card money told investigators that they had no idea what they were talking about. The bank stated that this money simply didn't exist. <coughs> no money, none of wire cards missing $2.1 billion ever entered into the Philippines. And we're hearing from Wirecard itself that they now believe that the $2.1 billion probably does not exist. Now, as you may recall, on Friday, BPI and BDO, the two top Philippine banks, uh, had revealed that they did not have any relationship with Wirecard. And it is now indicated that the documents that indicate the presence of some funds in those banks were bogus. Over the next week, Marcus Braun resigns, and he's arrested shortly after. Marcus Brown has been arrested. Now, this is obviously a scandal that has become <coughs> or is deepening. Uh, it is no longer only about missing money. Wirecard is saying that uh, potentially up to 1.9 billion euros could be missing. Uh, it's now also obviously a criminal investigation and one that is serious enough for the prosecutors to take this step and actually arrest and detain the former CEO. Wirecard then makes a statement. They admit that the money probably never existed in the first place. Shortly after, they file for insolvency. Jan Marstelek, Wirecard's former chief operating officer and Marcus's right-hand man, has vanished. German newspapers report that he fled to Russia or Belarus. There has been ripple effects from the collapse. German pensioners have lost money. Other payment companies owned by Wirecard were thrown into chaos. For example, the firm, Pocket, has had to freeze funds for its UK clients, leaving some in danger of having no hot water or gas. And with that, that is the end of the Wirecard saga. The tower company went from a small startup to super startup in the European tech world to losing 99% of its share price in just over a week. The story raises questions of the effectiveness of regulators, auditors, rating agencies, and financial watchdogs who all let it happen right under their noses. Was there corruption involved to have this go on for over a decade? Perhaps time will tell. When the Financial Times was starting to report about um, irregularities when it comes to their accounting, and that was rebuffed violently by Wirecard, but also the uh, German regulator didn't really look into the matter thoroughly. Um, instead of it, they actually looked into whether the Financial Times journalist has done its job right. So today, and also already it started yesterday, there's a huge discussion in Germany whether or not everybody was part lenient on the company, because nobody apparently looked really into the business model, neither the regulator 
know also the analyst. At some point in time, one analyst from a very well-known bank here in Germany called for reporting from the Financial Times fake news. Apparently, Wirecard was always shielded somewhat as the poster child of being a tech company in Germany, which we don't have too many of. While the story isn't over just yet, it seems like the company itself might be. Thanks for watching. In case you missed the last episode on the greatest phone failures in mobile history, be sure to check that out. A lot of people were saying that they didn't see it in their subscription box. I think it's fascinating some of the crazy ideas and stories that happened during the earlier days of the mobile industry. And lastly, a serious thank you to all of your supportive comments on the very personal video I made before the last one. I seriously wasn't expecting it all. very encouraging. Anyway, if you're here and want to see it. Lemonade Renters Insurance covers your 10 pound weights, 20 pound weights, 30 pound weights. Shower, uh, 
Um, what else did I do? Played some Unlimited. Now I'm live. I'd be live till four. Uh, what else? Internship, gym, shower, more homework. I guess I'm lazy because I'm not going to stay up for 24 straight hours and edit a video. I guess I'm lazy. Matt said, hi, what's up, Matt? What's up, Raw Basketball? John Cena said, I got back just in time. Yeah, you did. You got back just in time. Because we're about to get Boogie Dantich. Almost forgot his name. King said, one minute until invisible Luka Doncic. We are getting very close. Jack said, I'm new. What time do you normally stream? That's why I stream every day. I mean, I really don't have a time. My goal is just to stream every single day. So if you're new, if you enjoy pretty much daily my team content, I think you're in the right place. I know a lot of you guys watching right now aren't subbed yet. A lot of you guys are just joining it, but yeah. You guys hang around. We're about to open the pack for Luca. We're about 40 seconds away from getting him, so let's just go ahead and close out this game. Fun fact for anybody who's wondering. We were down in this game. We were down 2-0, but we overcame the impossible, and here we are. We had a good lead, and let's just run out the clock. Let's just run out the clock. 90-13. We were down 2-0. We're on a 90-11 run. So let's just hold the ball, run the clock. We'll take a shot at the last second. And we will head back to the main menu to go ahead and get our Luka Doncic. We can go ahead and shoot this. And wow, I got it off late. And it went in. That's crazy. Jimmy said, Doc, how do you do it? I don't know, man. Down 2-0 comeback. I don't know how he pulled it off, but there we go. We got the win. 90-13. There's the dubs in the chat coming early. And yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Unless 2K bugs out, unless 2K glitches. That should be our final win right there for Luka Doncic. Look at the guys celebrating, man. They're not going crazy like we won the finals or anything, but they know what happened. Let's go back to the main menu, and let's see if we can get that level 40 glow in the top right corner of the screen. Yeah! We got it. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Level 40, Dark Matter, Luka Doncic! That's what I'm talking about. It wasn't easy. I mean, eh, I wouldn't say it was hard, but of course, it's just a big grind. It's really all about how many hours you put in, how much time you put in. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it was hard or anything, but it was a grind for sure. We got him. Want this John Ball chip? Want these chips move out the way? You guys can see the pack itself. I'm going to wait until those move to open the pack. We'll shoot around with them. And, yeah. Marcus Jackson, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation, my man. We've been getting a whole lot of new stuff to the screen. It is officially time to open that Luka Doncic pack. Man, Dark Matter Glow, boom! That always gets me hyped, man. Seeing that Dark Matter always gets me so hyped up. Owen said, do the finger point. Oh, of course I will, of course I will. Of course I'll do the finger point. I mean, I have to. It's Dark Matter Luka. I'll make sure to post this on Twitter and everything. Boards, thank you for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation. Same to you, Raul. There is Lulu. Luka Doncic. Thanks to all you guys for the subs, man. This was a really good, really fun grind. Let me go ahead and do a pose right here. There's one pose right there. I'll do a pose on the actual speed as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Luka Doncic. Let's go to the collection. The free throws are now coming up. It'll be on Zion Williamson. And the first one at the line is good. And on both, he's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Williamson outside. And so that's the end of the first one.
his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about the efficient offense, not rushing things, taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And for the Warriors, Kobe White out there with Clay Thompson. And it's Green, and it's Kevin Durant. And it's Davis in the penalty. Manning the middle. A sort of move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Now here's Lowry. Let's it go from deep. Good. That's his pin pocket and nine attempts.
minus 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Thank you. 
He's got six rebounds here tonight. White with it. He's picked up by Williamson. Grant comes up. We've got 155 left to the fourth quarter. Knocks it down from the distance. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack the three point line. Certainly, they saw a weakness in the perimeter. He took advantage of it. Yeah. 